I think what happened to Ant is a sign of the times. And that is the Chinese government is waking up to the fact that they cannot allow uh, these companies that dominate a particular sector, and particularly the financial sector. So I believe the Chinese government stepped in because they realized that they had to regulate these companies so that they don't dominate and get too big. And of course, we're seeing that trend around the world. Uh, there's concern in many emerging markets about the size of some of these companies and the dominance that they have. And of course, a lot of it is related to privacy and uh, other factors. So the ant situation is very, very important to examine and to see how the Chinese government is going to move ahead with regulation of these companies. Uh, but I believe going forward, uh, the use of uh, fintech and technology in the financial arena is going to grow by leaps and bounds. And as you know, China is already ahead of many of the countries around the world, and they are going to be sort of the bellwether of what we can see in other countries around the world. In your assessment, is this then an isolated case about a specific sector and a specific issue, or does it raise broader questions about the progress of technology companies in mainland China? Oh, it's definitely not an isolated case. It's, uh, it's something that's going to be uh, important to examine in the context of the entire technology sector in China. As you know, uh, that sector in China has grown by leaps and bounds. And now I believe the government is realizing that they cannot let this get out of control because it'll uh, jeopardize the entire financial structure. So I think this is very important to watch and to examine and by the way, not only in China, of course, as you know, there's pressure in the U.S. Uh, and there's pressure in Europe, probably in Europe, the pressure on these technology companies is even greater. So I think this is a global phenomenon that we're going to see going forward.